Hey y'all, Rig Fearless Fearless, Strokers Dallas, Strokers Ice House, Punch Wally Garage and Fearless Services. Good morning. How you doing? All right. Today is Friday, January 26, 2024, year of our Lord. Season 2, episode number 26. Today we will talk about pizza, Layla, and the road less traveled. Let's go. In my life, the 366 Project, the Mr. Peabody Wayback Machine goes back to yesterday. So, there's a group of girls, women that are artists, and they've been here, oh, three or four or five times. And what they do is they meet somewhere every Thursday, and they draw paint, create. So they've, they've been out here, like I said, half a dozen times or so, and they came out yesterday, and there were 23 of them, which is a pretty large gathering for them. They, uh, they're called Artists Out and About DFW. So, it was very cool because most of these girls were my age, some a little younger, but most of them were about my age, and I got to uh, talk with them, I gave them a tour, I got to cut up with them. When they were in my office, I said, dang, all these girls in my office, I said, when I was 10, I used to write, me and my brother would write, no girls allowed and hang it on the front, on the door of the bedroom. But in case girls got in, you had CP on your hand. One girl said CP, and I said cootie protection. So they, what they do is they each pick a spot, you know, and most of them would draw one of the bikes, or one of the ladies drew the Simpsons, one of the ladies drew, uh, and I'm going to post a few of these pictures with this post. One of the ladies drew the uh, bartender mannequin thing that I have up front with the tie-dye overalls. It was really cool. So at the end, <clears throat> basically they got here at 10. I gave them a tour, and they, they uh, could create until noon. Then they do this photo dump thing where, and I'll post this picture, they lay all the photos out on the ground and take a picture. And then we took a group picture with me and all the ladies. And one of the ladies by the name of uh, T-Stone, T-Stone, she said, I got this one for you, Rick. She drew the shoes that I was wearing yesterday. Remember, if you watched the show yesterday and the Check the Chucks, these are the shoes I was wearing. And I said, I didn't stand there and have you draw my shoes. How do you do that? She said, well, while you were holding court on the tour, I took a picture of your shoes and drew it. Isn't that cool? That's the kind of thing that these girls were doing. They were drawing motorcycles and mannequins and pretty cool. You know, it's very humbling that people come out here from all over and uh, enjoy the place. And the girls all had lunch next door, and it was just a, it was just a refreshing day to spend some time with uh, such wonderful, talented ladies. Thank you, ladies, for coming to see me, and I hope you come back real soon. Speaking of check that chuck, let's check that chuck. Check that chuck, you big old. Woo! Hey, look at that, boy. What do you got there? Well, you've got some peace signs, and I probably have more than a few pair of these. So you've got the solid white peace signs, the silhouette peace signs, 
Upside down, right side up. Hmm. Converse, Chuck Taylor All-Star, red, white, and blue logo. White toe. White so. Red and what's left of a black racing stripe. Two vent hose. Black shoe strings. One eye down. Double knotted for safety. Hmm. I'm going to go with these are. Say it with me, y'all. These are some handsome chucks. Yes, they are. Can you see that picture again? Those are the chucks I was wearing yesterday made me smile made me happy all those girls made me smile and made me happy thank you girls uh southern slang pitch to hissy fit did you see that knucklehead come out here yes sir i had to kick him out why what was he doing he is loitering he pitched a hissy fit dad joke Sometimes the road less traveled is less traveled for a reason. Yogiism. You better uh, cut that pizza into four slices. I, I can't eat six, so cut it into four. Okay. Strokers Dallas Merch, M-E-R-C-H dot com. This is the flying eyeball shirt, only this is an old one. I have it in tie-dye. And I believe black and white. Check that out. Check out the hoodies that we have online. The baseball caps. We got all kinds of stuff. I'd appreciate anything you buy from me. You're buying from my family. Thank you. If you're looking for a motorcycle, strokersdallas.com. We buy bikes. We sell bikes. We trade bikes. We're in the motorcycle business. If you've never been to Stroker's Ice House, I think it's the best thing to hang out in the country. Check us out. Get off the couch, a motivational minute. Never argue with a liar. You can't win because they believe their own lies. That is true. And I could tell you many cases I kicked a guy out of here recently just because he was the instigator. Every time he came in, he was always trying to instigate a problem. Hey, Rick, see this over there? Hey, Rick, you hear what so-and-so said? Hey, Rick, what are you going to do about what they're doing up? Finally, I said, don't come back. What did I do? Don't come back. I don't need any headaches. Life is too short to deal with, with people that are trying to manufacture problems. Okay? I like uh, uh, girls like yesterday. Nice girls. They want to come out and they want to enjoy themselves and they want to uh, see the place and enjoy their day. Thank you to them girls. Okay, I'm going to leave you with this. Eric Clapton wrote the song Layla for Patty Boyd who was married to Eric Clapton's good friend, George Harrison. So George knew that Eric and Patty were sweet on one another, and he wrote the song Layla, and I guess it worked because Patty wound up marrying Eric Clapton, and then later on he wrote another song for her called Wonderful Tonight. You look wonderful tonight. And that, boys and girls, is the rest of the story. All right, Rick Fearless Fearless, I'm going to get out of here. I don't want you to throw a hissy fit because I'm going to be back tomorrow. And I look forward to seeing you. And it's going to be Saturday. And we're going to have a good time this weekend. Got to go. Love you, bye.